so now we, we're going to meet the Mesfetos. Pretty good design. They're basically weaker the fallen enemies from Devil May Cry 3. That's basically all they are. It's just subpar enemies called the fallen. That's all they are. And but unlike the fallen, which are considerably considerably more annoying, these enemies are just tame. They're not really annoying. They can just be Eh, I'd say they're annoying, but Fallen are more effective at being annoying. Because that's how that enemy is just designed. Especially with the, the the variation system in Devil May Cry 3. You know, with Trickster, Gunslinger, Swordmaster, and Royal Guard. The best style to use against them is Royal Guard. Not Royal Guard, but Trickster. Because Trickster gives you better air mobility. Snatch the orb get that benefit. There should be some orbs over here I can get. There we go. Get a charge. Level 2 exceed. There's a bonus down there. I think you can only do, use it with Dante. Might be mistaken, but eh, I'm fine. Well, I managed to hit this guy, so... Now I'm just gonna... There we go. Yeah, this guy's dead. Yep, you can also Devil Bringer them from the back. Which makes attacking them from the back an even more desirable option. So, now that that is done, I had to start another video. Because the last one finally healed up for 10 minutes, approximately. One, two, three, four, one. Thankfully, every time the video goes off, it lets off a high-pitched noise. It's like, diddy. So, I know when it's over and when it's not. Alright, yep, just antisocial destruction of property, vandalism. I'm going to get some of these orbs here, and I'm going to get this so I won't have to be down there and get it. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I got a lot of max exceeds there. Alright, one, two. One, two. Should be a Mesfito. Their upgraded counterparts are called Fausts. Dead. So, if the Mesfetos are making themselves a pain in the ass, just staying phased through walls, you want to back away for a little bit so they can follow you. So this is the Faust. And the Faust is a pretty badass enemy in my opinion. Or the design is badass. I like the design a lot. Fedora hat coupled with these long extending fingers of destruction. And it's pretty, it's just pretty good. And the tendrils, it's pretty awesome. So what happened there is its limit of being hit was reached and it just broke out of my Devil Bringer. It was going to attack me but my charge shot level 3 stopped it. Dead. Uh, I didn't take any damage either. Well I think I did. I'm not sure I forgot. I'm just killing demons just kind of black out. <laughs> So, 
Oh, gotta get that. You can get an exceed off of these, but it is difficult. It's difficult. <laughs> I'll get that orb. Come on. I have to get it. There we go. I tried to get an exceed, but I failed. Yep, here we go into this room again, and there's going to be frosts. So, yep. I'm just going to ignore... Damn it. Thankfully that didn't do too much damage. Okay, now that hurt. I'm just gonna... Alright, that's fine. See, as I'm just keeping the, the freaking Mesfetils off screen, I can't believe I called them Fausts. Couldn't dodge that one because you were busy being locked into something else. Where are you at? There we go. There we go, I'll just stun you. No, I'll just go for you instead. Stop you from doing your magic. You weren't fast enough, so you got the Busta, and then you're dead. Or not. I'll avoid taking damage. The other in Devil Trigger. I love them when they're in Devil Trigger. Oh no, you don't. Yeah, if you hit them in their finger like that, you can just stun them and stun them and stun them forever. That's their kryptonite. I'm not sure if the Faust have a certain kryptonite, but both have a similar weakness, and that is in their physical form with their magical cloak disintegrated. They are relatively weak. And let me just break out of that right now. Yeah, because you don't want to let the Frost freeze you and then get all that free damage. Alright, one, two. Alright, that one died. I'm gonna get this opportunity to do free damage. Level 3 charge shot. Summon sword, buffering it. I dodged that one narrowly. I tried to grab him with my bringer. My buster. Enemies are just hard as hell to stun. Alright. Just use that. And that should finish him off. Yep. Done. So the whole point of this mission is to get back to the main hall. But again, I'm going to be collecting some orbs for the orb requirements. No, I was hoping I'd be able to lock onto the green orb and get it normally, but nope. Still locking onto the gyros. Come on, get the speed gain. Alright. Keeping my freaking charge shot on like it matters. There's pretty much no real enemies in this place anymore. Then everything we could do. Now we're in the main hall. Or the grand hall. Oh, I'm hoping I can get this orb requirement. If I don't, I'll just get an A. I'll be happy with an A. 
I'm not gonna go for the freaking triple S rank and get S on all of my categories. With orbs, style, and time completion. Time completion. There we go. Alright. Able to just jump up here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yep. Get more orbs. Come on. There we go. Now time to use the gyro. Get that level one charge. This mission is pretty short. No, 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 no. Not that way. <sighs> Only problem with the gyro was the freaking camera. Why am I, why am I getting the gyro? I don't need the gyro. I can just do this. <sighs> what a stupid move by me. You gotta do is cut the chandelier once. Boom. Bashes into the painting of a portrait. A sanctus. Camera again, camera. Thankfully, this video is going to be ended just in time. 9:20 right now is the time. Now I'm just going to helm splitter down here. Oh no, the cutscene activates it. <laughs> oh, that's that. Okay, 11 minutes, 11 seconds, S, stylish, S, orb sound, A, S. Next. 